So you've got topology that you can't select. When you try to move it, you can't move it. When you're in draw mode, you can actually delete it. And if you go ahead and redraw that point, you will be able to move it. Ever had this? Yeah, pretty sure most people who've done retopology in ZBrush have experienced this at least once. Okay, it's really simple to fix it. All that's happened is at some point is that you've accidentally masked your topology. So all you need to do is hold down control, click and drag in an open area. That will have unmasked it. And now you can move your vertices and edit them completely as you wish. Now, if that is not the case and you still can't uh, select it, then there is another alternative. Okay, and this is good to know anyway. It does get you out of a lot of trouble. All right. What you need to do is you need to come off edit topology and make this topology um, an adaptive skin. Okay, so... Still got that low topo selected, and I'm going to click on Make Adaptive Skin. All right, now go to your subtool and click on your high resolution sculpt, okay, and hide the original low topology, okay. So I've got this high res sculpt selected of this dolphin. Uh, this sculpt was done by my colleague Robert Lambert. So with that selected, I'm now going to insert a new Z sphere. All right, and I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to rename it New Topo, something like that. Okay, so I've still got the low topo hidden. This is the new topo. I'm going to go down to Topology, and I'm just going to click on Select Topo, and I'm going to select the topology of that adaptive skin we just made. And as you can see, it's all there. If I click on Edit Topology, I will be able to go in and move it about and edit it any way I see fit. So this method is also good for um, adjusting the topology of an already existing model as well if you wish to do that. It's a nice quick way to do it in ZBrush. Okay, that's it. Cheers. Any questions, uh, just ask them below and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks.